You know, the uh, five days of war, I just say that, you know, it's, I, uh, I have, you know, it's, these people, these Hollywood people came here to see us uh, because uh, the, I think they were idealists because Russians were looking as crazy around for somebody to do film and pay for it. And they had talks, as we know for facts, with several prominent uh, Hollywood uh, directors and actors. And several times they came close, but in the end all of them understood it was not a good thing to do. So they all backed off. But, uh, and so, of course, Georgia was not a competitor for them in that. Russia had the money, not Georgia's. But there were people in Hollywood who weren't doing it for money. They were doing it just for, you know, because they believed in it. And uh, because Renny Harlan, he, his father was, uh, his father was a, a participant of war, Finland's war, his both parents actually, against Russia. Uh, again, the war the where Russians claimed that Finland attacked them first. Uh, and uh, he knows the, how it, these things happen. And uh, Andy Garcia, he's a refugee from Cuba. Uh, and so he had his own strong convictions about uh, freedom and, you know, the idea of freedom. So, uh, so that's why it happened, you know, these were generally idealists. And and uh, recently I was in New York and I saw there were 12 very prominent people uh, like uh, from, uh, you know, from the media and uh, uh, some leading business leaders of America and uh, 10 out of the 12 that we had a dinner had seen five days of war. I was quite amazed. I didn't know it had such an important audience to, that they covered.